little talk about this guy here. Now, I picked this up on the net for three hundred dollars. It was advertised for three fifty, and it is a great plains revolver. And it came out about two thousand and twelve, and it's no longer available. So I bought the motor mount for the fifty fifty five. And then that's when I realised I had the wrong manual. So I went back, downloaded the correct manual, put the wings on it and measured it. And I didn't have the 1750, I had the 1500. So the 1750 looked like that plane. The 1500 looked like a little kid's plane. Anyway, never mind. So I had to do some sexy modifications to the motor mount to get the right dimension because it's a big motor, big, um, big motor mount. So I turned the motor mount around, I cut the bracket off, I had to make a spacer because it's wider and there's two bits of balsa that, or ply that come out so I had to move that off the, off the firewall and uh, bolted it all up, then aligned it all and uh, there she is. So she had, the wheel pants were loose, the wheels were seized on it, there was a hornet's nest inside underneath the canopy so we got that out. The rudder, um, the elevators were misaligned. The, the, the rod came through the, the, um, the bracket, but it was too long. And every time you went and operated the elevator, that downward piece of rod would crash into the, uh, into the servo. So I turned that all around and I readjusted it because they seemed to be a little bit down so anyway this is where we are so it's got a 50 55 motor in it swinging a, a 15 by 3 prop they recommend that you put a 42 size motor in it with 11 inch prop they also recommend you run it on six cell i'm going to try it on a four cell just because i've got a bigger motor and, and an end so we'll see how we go um yeah Let's shut up and let's go. We're running the Free Sky Long Range Receiver. I had to, I don't know whether you can see in there, but that's the that's the pin for this linkage arm, so we had to turn it up rather than cut it off. All the electrics are still there from the old Nitro days, even the big um, um, throttle ESCs down in there. But I uh, had to make up a big set of leads to come around here to get out from the ESC. The ESC is tucked up underneath it. Uh, I had to put a screw in here to get that sorted. But anyway, she's all together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take her up and see how she goes. We're going to run a. Uh, we're going to run a high-tech 4500 four banger in there. Just see how she goes with that. See how she's powered. So there she is there all set up, got the perfect G-spot, got a little battery in the back to run the electrics. The only thing I don't like about this is the canopy, when the canopy fits in you've got to actually use some little screws. To, there's some little screws to actually hold the canopy in but never mind, we'll uh, Put the canopy on. And let's, she just sits in there like that. That just sits in there like that. Would it be the maiden flight or the maiden crash? We'll see. See how she taxis. Engine on. So we got everything we got. Looks nice, doesn't it? So I think we're going to take off straight down that way.
Happy's gone. Because I didn't screw it on, you dickhead. And that actually adjusts the CG. Fuck that.